In the latest car crash interview, Michael Gove was grilled and destroyed by Julia Hartley-Brew of Talk TV over high taxes and lockdown policies. Now, I, unless you watch Julia Hartley-Brew's show, this is one of the uh, tiny things that were missed uh, this week and yesterday. Um, a massive interview between Julia Hall Brewer and the leveling up minister, Michael Gove. This was about, <laughs> initially started about the question on high taxes and big government. And that's what Julia asked. And Michael Gove thought he could just get away with just lying and just using generic robotic lines saying, yeah, we want to keep taxes low. Like you can't considering they're as high as ever. And then it continued to go into the lockdown policies. This is absolutely fascinating. Let's watch it together. Front page of one paper today is saying that Victoria MPs are telling the Chancellor, Jeremy Hunt, if you don't cut taxes in the next, uh, in the spring statement, basically you're going to lose the next election. Yeah. Um, are they going to cut taxes? Should the government cut taxes? Yeah. Well, we want to keep taxes as low as possible. And well, you have, you can't, they're they're the highest rate they've been in 70 years. You yep. can't keep them as low as possible. Well, that's partly because of uh, uh, the backwash from COVID and the situation in Ukraine. The bus, but no whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, don't blame the virus. It was your own policies. Sorry, Mr. Gove. Backwash from COVID or the backwash of lockdown policies that you were an engineer of? COVID. <laughs> it was COVID that caused us to have an economic collapse. It was COVID that caused inflation. Yes, it's the, it was the virus. Yes. It was the virus. It and wasn't anything to do with locking um, down the economy. What is it saying? Uh, no. It wasn't anything to do with closing businesses and putting millions of people on furlough <laughs> not to work. Nothing to do with that at all. Uh, well, we only had to do that because of the virus in order to prevent it. Not stuff. every country did that. Uh, uh, I think that you will find that almost every developed nation Sweden had... Sweden didn't. Sweden didn't. Why are you lying? economic activity. Sweden didn't. They haven't had the same economic hit and they haven't had the excess deaths either. Uh, Sweden did have uh, a lockdown. They did have restrictions. They didn't have a lockdown. They had very, very few restrictions. They okay. did not have lockdown. I think they did, but anyway, we... Well, we, you we, can, we I mean, you can think. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we all have our own truths now. Meghan's style and Harry's style, but there we are. Um, can I ask you about strikes? Keir Starmer well, there's says... Never be more, there's never been more true than in the way in which some people rewrite history about COVID. That's what are you saying? You just... <laughs> Do you remember the time when Michael Gove was trusted to do media? He was so good at public speaking and media interviews, a professional, a, a political operator. What is happening to Michael? Come on, Michael. He's too busy going to nightclubs uh, and uh, <coughs> washing his face. I'm, 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 I'm accusing Michael Gove of washing his face. That's all I'm doing. Um, <laughs> don't want to get sued again. Anyway, this is fascinating because let's go back to the beginning of the interview because he said, the, the whole thing was chaos anyway. The, the, his answer on Sweden, his uh, answer on the lockdown versus virus. But I'm going to point out and something that even Julia didn't bring up. He mentioned that we want to keep taxes as low as possible now, which Julia rightly so said, well, you can't because they're already very, very high. The highest they've been in decades, 70 years. And then he said, well, it's because of the virus and Ukraine. And obviously then the debate changed. But hang on, Mr. Gove, you've been in this government and previous governments under Boris and Theresa May and David Cameron. Since David Cameron left office, Theresa May and Philip Hammond, and since then all of them have been raising taxes. The tax burden became the highest in decades, seven decades, before the so-called virus or the lockdown or Ukraine. That was already happening. Don't you go blaming 2020 for that. Whether you want to say it's lockdown or virus, I don't really care. You were doing this years before. Since 2016, this was happening. When you ended austerity, and you were so proud, all of you, Philip Hammond saying, we have ended austerity, then you started taxing and spending, like a socialist government. And you didn't even do it the right way. We still have a problem with infrastructure and basic public services. And you just kept throwing money at that bottomless pit that is the NHS. And they kept messing it up. And you thought, well, let's just get more managers for the NHS. <laughs> That's going to fix everything. So that was happening before lockdown, before Ukraine, before any of this. So that's what they, they, they need to be held to account on those things. Whether Sweden had a lockdown or not, that's just, that's just completely hilarious. He's got his own truth, like Megan. Um, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this. It was quite entertaining. I enjoyed it. Uh, it's good to see uh, politicians uh, struggling 
on very basic, simple questions. For the love of God, let's take a break, ladies and gentlemen. Let's kind of come back in half an hour. Speaking of European countries, we're going to talk about the Dutch farmers because we have some bad news on that front. The battle between Dutch farmers and their net zero government. Uh, Maya, Tusi and we are the media. <laughs> 